Our uh, commissioner's meeting. Uh, the first thing we do with our meeting is we'll uh, have the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One of our first items that we'll, we'll work with here is uh, Joyce Lane from Couple Products. Okay. Would you like to come forward? Or I've never been to one of these, so you have to tell me what you want, where you want sure. to be. Sure. Um, just explain to us uh, um, what your issue is, uh, what you'd like us to do. Is it just anything to deal with the issue? Okay. Um, I represent um, our UAW, Local 2049, and we've been on strike for almost two years at Couple Products. And we feel that we are not getting um, the represent representation that we need in, from the Sheriff's Department. We have several calls and made several uh, reports and stuff, and we've getting pushed off to the side. One of them happened just not long ago that um, the HR person was threatened inside the building, and they are hiring fugitives and um, work release people to get a discount from the state. But it, he threatened to do her bodily harm. When the sheriff's department arrived out there, we call, I called the dispatcher and asked her if our people were in any danger. No, it's a parole violation. Well, excuse me, if it was a parole violation, why was the sheriff's department in the parking lot all night watching the building? There's people outside with no protection at all. We have nothing. We have nothing. He never told us until after it was over with what had occurred. So that's what we're here for. Are you an official spokesman of UAW 249? Yes, I am. You're shop I'm bargaining steward. chair, and I am a financial sec secretary. Okay. All right. What was the uh, date on that? On the last incident? The one where there was threat uh, to go? It's best of our knowledge. I, I don't have I'm it. not going to ask uh, specific Mar around. In March to April. Somewhere in the middle of March or the first of April. We had when it first started we have we had five ladies that were sitting at our strike area around a fire barrel. And the guy we it's a north and south road, he was heading south. He crossed the center line and headed right to the five ladies that were sitting at the barrel. We called the sheriff's department. I have the report if you guys want to read it. He went and the second time we called him, he went to the house, put his hand on the truck and found out, yeah, he could still hear the ticking from the motor and and the heat and went to his door and talked to him and that was it. And these ladies were just innocently sitting away from the road, not bothering nobody. Ahead. He'd been at Dreamers drinking and deliberately crossed the the yellow the line to come over to get us. We're not out there to cause trouble. We're out there because would you stand up and fight if somebody took 33% of your, everything that you were No, we're not going to get years? into the reason I'm just telling why you. you're on strike. We're not going to go. That's there. fine. Okay? That's fine. I just want to make it Are clear. Are you aware that the sheriff is an elected position like we're elected and we, are, we do not control what the sheriff does? Yeah, I'm aware of that. Then why are you here? Because he told me to come here to, to say uh, something. Yeah, you're second. Okay. Uh, you're exactly right. I, I don't deny that. And uh, that's not the first time, or probably won't be the last time, that I invite people who call and have a concern. And my procedure is generally invite you to come in so we can sit down, talk about it, and find out how we can solve this problem, if it continues. And so you're exactly right. Uh, I did invite you here, uh, and you said no one would get back with you, uh, and uh, so, and that's the first time that I've gotten anything on my line. I was here but, a year ago and talked to 
to Mr. Amber himself. Yeah, okay. So uh, the sheriff is here. Uh, can we have Mr. Hodges sure. respond to this or how you cover Mark? that out there, Mark? Uh, yeah, I'll have to say that I completely blindsided on, on two accounts. Number one, I didn't know that they were going to be here, so I'm not here for... I should have notified you. I apologize. And the second, the uh, incident that she's speaking of, I have absolutely no knowledge of whatsoever. So uh, now the incident that she spoke about, if it's the same one I'm thinking of, the crossing the center line, uh, that goes back many months or a year or so ago. We have had at least one or two meetings in my office with some people, some folks, and I thought we had some resolutions to those issues at that time. So unless this is a new one, I think I'm somewhat aware of that one. But the first one she spoke of today, I know nothing about. Well, it was just uh, three weeks ago that we had one of your deputies come out because somebody tried to tip over the outside porta potty and it cost $2,000 to, uh, to replace it. But the guy that we rent it from gave us leniency so that we didn't have to pay for it. He repaired it. But no deputy, they came out and said our people did it. And they made no report or anything. Again, yeah, I'm not, not aware of that. I guess I would prefer that I conversation be made with me or my office, myself, or my chief deputy so that we can resolve it in a different setting. But. Okay. Well, again, I do apologize. I should have left to know, but uh, did not, and it wasn't delivered on my part. But uh, you are here today because I invite you. are exactly right. And Thank no you. problem with that. And that's not uncommon, what we do with other people who have concerns about the county. And Mr. Amber's right, the sheriff is an elected official, and uh, the electorate, if they're unhappy with his performance, why the next time around, the commissioner, we're usually voted out. So, uh, your, your issue is uh, one, that you have a right to do that, but you also have a right to safe area of the ground center. So, Mr. Chairman, that's all I have to say. Maybe we can work something out to be sure that, ask if there's something that, if they call it in, but still, we would need to be well, informed. I, I guess, you know, Mark's willing to, to work with them, it sounds like. So, if you could work it out with Mark a little bit here and, and uh, um, see what we can do. Do you have any suggestions at all? Well, I, I have one question, which I didn't quite pick up. The incident three weeks ago, you said the HR person was threatened. The HR no. person would not be a striker. No, the HR person was threatened inside of the building, okay, and they that, sat in the parking lot all night, and we were out there just in a shelter. They said that they would do bodily harm, and like I said, some of these people okay. have been... Who, who said they would do bodily harm? That's what I'm trying to... What's the, who, the, the, the person the, that was terminated... He was going to do bodily harm to the HR person. Okay, but that had nothing to do with the strike, per se, correct? Nothing to do with the strike, but we are beside of the premises, the building, with okay, no but, protection. All right, well, protection from what, though? If he threatened somebody inside the building, that's not a threat. There wasn't a threat to you, is what I mean. Not that we're aware okay. of. Okay, all right. How are we to know that he didn't, wouldn't take it out on us because he was, wasn't happy with us either? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm.